balance the chemical equation. Let's take a look at this equation representing the chemical reaction. In this equation, the reactants are barium chloride and aluminum sulfate, and the products are barium sulfate and aluminum chloride. If we look at this equation, we can see that the equation is not balanced. In the reactant side, there are one barium atom, two chlorine atoms, two aluminum atoms, three sulfur atoms, and two oxygen atoms. And the product side, there are one barium atom, three chlorine atoms, one aluminum atom, one sulfur atom, and four oxygen atoms. The number of atoms is not balanced on both sides. To balance the chemical equation, we need to make use of coefficients. A coefficient is a number that we place in front of a chemical formula. In this equation, we need to balance the aluminum atoms first. To do this, we need to put a coefficient of 2 in front of AlCl3. The aluminum atoms are balanced. Now we need to balance the sulfur atoms. To do this, we need to put a coefficient of 3 in front of BaSO4. Now the sulfur atoms and oxygen atoms are balanced, but the barium atoms and chlorine atoms are not balanced on both sides. To do this, we can use two another coefficient of 3 in front of BaCl2. The equation is now balanced. There are three barium atoms, six chlorine atoms, two aluminum atoms, three sulfur atoms, and two oxygen atoms on both sides. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon.